Today, we're talking about Snapdragon 8 Gen 5 versus Snapdragon 8S Gen 4, and trust me, this comparison is more interesting than it sounds. First, let's clear the confusion. The Snapdragon 8 Gen 5 is Qualcomm's newer flagship chip. It was announced in November 2025, and it's almost the best of the best. It's just a small step below the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5, but still crazy powerful. The Snapdragon 8S Gen 4, announced in April 2025, is also a flagship chip, but it's more like a light version. Still strong, still premium, but not meant to beat the Gen 5. So yes, Gen 5 is higher in the lineup, but the real question is, how big is the gap really? Let's find out. Process and design difference. This is where things start getting serious. The Snapdragon 8 Gen 5 is made on TSMC's 3 nanometer process. Smaller number means better power saving and more performance. The 8S Gen 4 uses TSMC's 4 nanometer process, which is still good but not as advanced. In simple words, the Gen 5 chip can do more work while using less power. That's already a big win. CPU difference. This is the main story. This is the biggest reason why the Gen 5 is faster. The Snapdragon 8 Gen 5 uses Orion cores. These are Qualcomm's own custom CPU cores, and they were earlier only available in the Elite chips. Now they are here in Gen 5. Gen 5 CPU setup, two big cores at 3.8 GHz, six performance cores at 3.32 GHz. All are third-gen Orion cores. Now look at the Snapdragon 8S Gen 4. It still uses ARM cores, not Orion. 8S Gen 4 CPU setup, eight big Cortex-X4 cores at 3.21 GHz, three Cortex-A720 cores at 3 GHz, two Cortex-A720 cores at 2.8 GHz, two efficiency Cortex-A720 cores at 2.02 GHz. So here's the simple takeaway. Gen 5 has more powerful cores running at higher speeds and they are more efficient too. This difference shows up very clearly in benchmarks. Geekbench performance, big gap here. On Geekbench single core, Snapdragon 8 Gen 5 scores 2,837. Snapdragon 8S Gen 4 scores 2,164. That's about 31% faster for Gen 5. In real life, single-core performance matters for app opening speed, UI smoothness, and daily use, so yes, Gen 5 feels snappier. Now multi-core scores. Snapdragon 8 Gen 5, 9,332. Snapdragon 8S Gen 4, 6,931. That's a 34% jump. This matters for heavy tasks like gaming, video editing, and multitasking. Basically, the Gen 5 is just on another level. Ontitu score, full phone performance. Ontitu gives us the full picture. Snapdragon 8 Gen 5 almost hits 3 million. Snapdragon 8S Gen 4 stays under 2.4 million. That's around a 25% overall boost. Let's break that down. CPU score, Gen 5, 914,878. CPU score on 8S Gen 4, 688,724. That's a 32% CPU jump. GPU score, Gen 5 gets a big boost over the 8S. Gaming performance is clearly better on Gen 5. Memory and user experience scores also favor Gen 5, which means smoother animations and better stability. GPU and gaming difference. Now let's talk gaming because I know many of you care about this the most. The Snapdragon 8 Gen 5 uses the Adreno 840 GPU. The 8S Gen 4 uses the Adreno 825 GPU. Both support ray tracing and Snapdragon Elite gaming features, but Gen 5 gets the newer and improved version. What does this mean for you? Higher frame rates, more stable performance, less heating, and better battery life during gaming. If you play heavy games like Genshin Impact, Warzone Mobile, or future AAA mobile games, Gen 5 will handle them better. AI Performance both chips come with Qualcomm Hexagon NPU, so AI features are strong on both. 
but the Snapdragon 8 Gen 5 goes further. It supports agentic AI, which basically means smarter on-device AI, faster processing, and better handling of AI tasks without internet. It also has hardware matrix acceleration, which helps with AI performance even more. This will matter more in the future as phones start doing more AI stuff on device. Memory and storage. Good news here, both chips support LPDDR5X RAM up to 4.8 GHz, but there's a difference in storage. Snapdragon 8 Gen 5 supports UFS 4.1, Snapdragon 8S Gen 4 supports UFS 4.0. UFS 4.1 is slightly faster and more efficient, so app loading and file transfers will be quicker on Gen 5. Camera and connectivity. The Snapdragon 8 Gen 5 also wins here. It has a newer modem, faster download and upload speeds, better camera processing, advanced video recording, and better semantic segmentation for photos and videos. This means better portraits, better video quality, and faster network speeds. So which one should you choose? Here's the honest answer. If you are a power user, if you game a lot, or if you want the absolute best Android performance, then Snapdragon 8 Gen 5 is the clear winner. No debate. It's faster, more efficient, better for gaming, better for AI, and more future-proof. But if you don't game much and your phone use is mostly social media, browsing, YouTube, messaging, casual gaming, then the Snapdragon 8S Gen 4 is still very good. Most people won't even notice the difference in daily use. So yeah, Gen 5 is better in almost every way, but the 8S Gen 4 is not slow or weak at all. At the end of the day, it really depends on how hard you push your phone. And honestly, both chips are powerful enough for most users today.